Governor Jesse Ventura, Senator Bill Bradley, all the way to President Barack Obama. What do they have in common? They've all shared their hand at sports before becoming successful in other careers. Say hello to Sam Eldridge, former rugby player at Iowa State University, where the men are men and so are the women, according to Sam's rugby shirt. But you get the message here, this gal is tough as nails. Sam explains what brings her to SIU in this episode of Where Are They Now? So my undergrad was spent at Iowa State University where I got really involved with women's rugby. And I loved rugby because it's a great stress relief. And the group cohesion between me and the girls was just amazing. We had a wonderful time. I mean, we had so much fun, whether it was out on the field or afterward at our socials. So to be starting off with a back squat. These days, Sam is in the gym a lot. When she's not gearing up for a weightlifting competition that she has found a new love for, she's helping others stay fit as one of SIU's personal trainers. So I decided I wanted to go to graduate school. And as I was applying around, SIU offered me a really great assistantship where I was teaching health. Well, from teaching health, I gained this great opportunity to start personal training. So both those things kind of pulled me in because they were definitely interested in mine. Once a month, we have Fitness Friday, and it's usually held in the group fitness studio or out on court four. And it's an opportunity for everyone that's a member of the rec to come out and partake in a fitness-related activity. Um, so you can definitely give our viewers out there, if they're in high school, some advice if they want to become, you know, professionals in sports, to have a backup plan. Yes, definitely. I would say have multiple interests. Don't just go for one thing. If you're interested in multiple aspects or areas of fitness, go for it. Try it all out, whether it's weightlifting, bodybuilding, even yoga. It's all great for you. It's good for your body. And if you stick with it, you'll go somewhere. Okay. With uh, WSIU, I'm Alan Self. This is Sam Eldridge. Thank you for joining <laughs> us today, Sam. Back to you in the studio. If you think it's unusual to see a female in the weight room, then you don't know this lady, Saluki. Meet Natalie Carr, muscle figure, class A champion. There are two things on her mind that's keeping her motivated to work out. One is the Mrs. SIU bodybuilding competition, and two is her baby boy. Um, well, I, I'm a mom, and my son is pretty big for his age, and I'm really tiny. So, like, I was going to have to be able to handle him one way or another, so... I, I mean, my kid is two years old. He weighs 35 pounds. So, like, if I didn't lift weights, I wouldn't be able to, like, pick him up and, like, play with him and stuff. Miss Carr says that her favorite workouts focus on her shoulders as well as her legs. She's always available to give out hints, and she even tried to help me out as I tried to work it out for the summer. Now the time has come, and the muscles were all out at the competition. The fans were very live as the men went first, showing off their muscles that they worked hard for. And before you know it, the women came out and they put on their best performance as well. It was a stiff competition, but in the end, the judges put in their scores and Natalie received runner-up at the Mrs. SIU bodybuilding competition. You need to be a little taller, or a little bit leaner, but you know, it happens. We'll work harder for the next one. At SIU's Student Center Ballroom, I'm Alan Self, River Region, Evening Edition News. Feast your eyes on this machine of a man, Antoine Hunter. Or, just simply, Twan. Twan is currently an undefeated amateur boxer, winning every fight by way of knockout. But for Twan, it's not all about his success or his awards. The main focus for this Saluki is bringing more boxing to SIU. We are trying to get fight the SIU Boxing Club uplifted. And then also I need to 
forms, you know, do online and uh, a lot of a lot of extra, a lot of a lot of stuff that got got to go through. The main thing is those signatures. When I get those signatures, then I'll be good, to, set to go. These signatures are a part of a petition that must be completed. If he gets ten signatures, Tuan will get his wish of becoming SIU's boxing club president. So next time you want to take out some aggression, or uh, you're a boxer on the street and you want to get into the ring, make sure you look out for SIUC's boxing club. I'm Alan Self, and this is I'm getting out of here.